A nation's greatness is measured by how it treats its weakest members, said Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> yeah, you are tuned in to Evolvement Radio, always bringing you good, good music. My name is Michael Bernier. Big Ben is here with me. How you yeah, feeling Michael. today, my good brother? Today, today I <laughs> feel mineralized. Uh, yeah. Ryan Inc. is here seated on the floor, the medicine man. How you doing, brother? Through my glasses. Yeah, I see that. I see that. George Dow is back with us. What's Woo-hoo. happening, GED? Back. Doing very well. Doing yeah. very well. Feeling less sick than I was last week. You look fantastic. Mm-hmm. We have musical guest <laughs> Carlin Tripp in the studio. Yeah. How are you, my newest friend in the whole wide world? <laughs> I'm doing awesome, man. Yeah. It's great to be here. Stoked to hang out with yeah. Carlin, ask him some questions. Is going to be a good, good interview. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Carlin Tripp, live on Evo Rad. So, somebody yeah. comes out to a Carlin Tripp show, they watch you perform, they're like, wow, that was so good. I love this guy. I want to talk to him. They break through the crowd, they get up to the stage, and they're like, Carlin, I love you. You remind me of. Is there a common theme that, that occurs oh, there? Oh, man. Well,. You know, you I think I think like pa- I think Paul Simon has been the Paul yeah, Simon. That's, that's nice. I've gotten that two or three times, which is always a nice. That's a nice compliment. Word. <laughs> and I love getting up on stage, and I love you know sharing my own original music and my thoughts, and you know what I've created. Um, and I just you know, I think being a DIY guy and just sort of you know creating my own future and my own adventure, and you know, it's it's just a. Uh, you kind of never know what's going to happen next. You know, it's it's not a super predictable uh, lifestyle. Which... Have, have you found that the lifestyle uh, affects the way that you compose your own music? <laughs> well, I mean, I think the I think the lifestyle can lend itself to a certain inspiration that can only come from being a a singer songwriter. <laughs> my my family is is you know definitely number one. Um, you know, I've got a two year old fiance we have you know grandparents who need to see the two-year-old and you know we have an obligation to make sure that she has a great life and she really enjoys herself um second full-time job right so there. oh yeah i mean that that is that is definitely the full-time job and and luckily music you know fits in around it you know and so i can make i can make both things happen i think that my first musical uh you know awakening if you will was with the record player uh growing up as a kid, you know, with we had, you know, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely. I mean, I can still name the records, you know, because I was just so little digging through them. And, uh, yeah, and we had, you know, we had Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and we had Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms, and we had uh, The Phantom of the Opera, which for some reason, as a, as a seven-year-old, I just couldn't get enough of. Carlin Tripp loves Evo Rad. As you wake up, and you take a shower, you put your nice clean clothes on, you eat an avocado, and you get to work, you're sitting down, you're writing, and throughout your day you have thoughts that I would assume most of us do. There's some sort of thought as to what is your personal bliss? Where does your happiness lie? What is the purpose of it all? Where do you find yourself in a state of bliss what's the goal man I mean for me these days I think I'm in a state of bliss when I know that there's uh, stuff coming down the pipes you know like when I know that I've got you know like a little tour booked or I've got like these shows coming up or I've got like this video project or you know, involvement radio. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, so very you know, much. I'm thinking anyway. like, what's the optimal though? What's, what's the, the opt- goal? Like, in the end or in the now? Like, what is it that's gonna make you oh. feel so right? Like, is it playing music? Is it yeah. living on a farm? Ah, uh, yeah, totally. I mean, play, play. I mean, for me, yeah, playing great shows. I mean, I'm like constantly searching after those great shows. Like, yeah. that's really. You know, when you're just when you're out there in front of a house full of people who absolutely want to be there and want to hear music and are just totally into the original music thing, that's I mean that's the feeling that I'm always after. <laughs> so Carlin, you've been doing this singer songwriter thing for quite a while. It sounds as though yeah, quite Tra- a while. Yeah. Traveling highways and byways. For I sure. was hoping you'd tell us a little story 
and you don't have to name names or places, but of the sketchiest floor that you've had to crash on? The sketchiest floor that I've had to crash on? Um, well, I mean, you know, I have to debunk that. I have to debunk really? that Really? I can't yeah. imagine I have that never, there isn't one. I have never been a, a sketchy couch crasher. Carlin. Yes. I love you. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> so what are you doing to make the world a better place for everyone to live in aside from music? Like nothing associated with music. What do you feel that you're doing to make the world better for everyone? All. <sighs> man. Well... Thinking about it constantly, but that doesn't really thinking. Count. <laughs> well, you know, it's a step in the being, process. I mean, being obsessed with it, I think, is you know that's part of my. Um, so you take but, no action well, in bettering no, the I, world. <laughs> no, I mean, I think every day I try to better the world, just you know, just by being a good human being um, in a city. And uh, yeah. let me. All right. So you well, decide to hold so, the door for people and yeah, smile I mean, there's a lot you of that. say hello to Exa people yeah. that you don't know. I mean, one, one thing I just did that was really cool was an event called the Winter Walk, um, right. which is uh, it's a, it's a, basically a two-mile walk through Boston, which helps raise awareness for homelessness. Yeah. You know, and they, you know, they raise money what for it. What was your role and, in this operation? Were you walking? Yeah, you, okay. yeah, participating. Yeah. Nice. And Were you actually, sore after the two-mile walk? Nah. No, What's was, your exercise that was, that was a stroll, you know. Um, do you exercise? Do I? Yes. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I go cl I go to the rock climbing gym like once a okay. week. Okay. Once yeah. a week rock climbing. Once a, once um, a week rock climbing. Yep. Do some push-ups. Me and my daughter, you know, we have a, a lap that we do around the Arboretum, you know, over in, in Roslindale. So that's that's Excellent. like a pretty solid loop. I mean, it's not, like, it's not like it used to be. And where I do you sleep at night? Too much. Did. Where do you sleep at night? <laughs> Where do I sleep at night? <laughs> well, it depends on what time I get home. If I get home at 1.30 in the morning, I sleep on the couch. But if I'm home at a reasonable hour, I can sneak into the bed. Love one another. Sun goes down.